So we have successfully hooked up this best tech inverter. It's a thousand watt pure sign inverter. I put a kilowatt meter on it. You can see the battery down there with the black, which is the DC DC converter, which is taking a 400 volt uh, high voltage battery down to a 12 volt battery. And that's essentially, that's the uh, positive lead. That's the negative lead right there, which I've tapped into with a four gauge uh, wires. They're very short, so hopefully they do pretty good. Turn this on and you can hear the fan is starting to power up and the kilowatts trying to turn a line of boot. You can see that it's reading about 120 volts and you can see it's ready to go. And you can see this kilowatt shows that there's not really any load on it. So I'm gonna hook up this Frigidaire. It's a 6,000 BTU, um, 6,000 BTU uh, window AC unit. Window AC units are about twice as efficient as a portable AC unit. So let's just see what happens when we plug this in for the, this test. All right, so you can hear the uh, fan is kicking on trying to get the process of the attention of the flicker. It's a LCD display apparently. And um, yeah, so thanks to the kindness of uh, my boss here, I was able to get this cool window AC unit he had uh, as an extra that he bought for, uh, for work one day when we were having some problems. And you can see that it's connected up. That's it being powered. Now the wattage is still ramping up the calculation. It's probably trying to get ready to do the uh, compressor and everything else. So you can see right now it's only pulling half a watt. You can see it's, or half an amp I should say, and you can see it's pulling 60 watts. And this will slowly start to go up. Now this is, all right, you can hear it. So now you can see it's ramping up. The compressor kicked on. And now we're pulling about 476 watts, 471 watts. So which means that the uh, 1000 watt pure sign is actually able to give it a good clean signal. It's providing enough power. And the surge rating on this is double that, so it's uh, 2,000 watts. So, we're able to power a window AC unit using about half of our available power on this. And uh, the car is uh, recharging itself using a high voltage battery. Now, this is a possible 1,000 uh, kilowatt inverter. This car has 60 kilowatts hours of a battery pack in it. So theoretically, if we used up that full 1,000, we could run this for 60 straight hours or about uh, a little over three days or around three days. So we're not doing that. We're using half of that and that compressor will kick on and off. So you're not gonna just be using it full blast. In the meantime, the plan is also to put something like a freezer on here and then use the Model S with a air conditioner unit and with the freezer and maybe some internet to keep this one going. That'll extend the life uh, substantially. And over here we have the Model 3 got a 2000 watt inverter in route. You're not able to do the same trick. This battery, unfortunately, is uh, limited to no more than somewhere between three and six amps. And then the recharge rate is actually much smaller than that, which means that in terms of the Model 3 here, we'll have to be a little, a little trickier. Underneath here, I've already disassembled some of it. You can see that there is another <clears throat> battery pack here. So that is another DC-DC converter, which we can plug into. And uh, this will be where the 2000 watt inverter is uh, plugged in at. And then with this car, it's a 62 kilowatt hour battery pack, a little bit bigger than the Model S, which is a classic. And um, we'll be able to power the refrigerator, hopefully with that for quite a while until power comes back online on the grid. So until next time, stay safe and be content to be continued.